Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into what you should not be using in New World. So there's actually a new dev blog that came out talking about environments like Expeditions, where you can increase your gear score watermark much, much more efficiently and quicker. However, when it comes down to those Expeditions, right now they are hard to craft. If you go to the stone cutting table, I do have level 200 stone cutting. I believe this table is uh, a level 4, so we're not going to be able to actually make these or craft these. But when it comes down to some of these different orbs, they cost quite a bit of resources. 20 corrupted lodestone takes quite a while to actually achieve when it comes to those uh, those portals. So a lot of this stuff is going to be minimized or decreased in the amount of things you actually need to craft. So Lazarus Tuning Orb, maybe instead of 20, it'll go down to 10 on the corrupted lodestone. On the Asmodian Chisel, I'm sure that'll still be there. The Rune Stone might go down a little bit. Uh, the Lazarus Core might take a little bit less as well to actually craft as right now. It takes a little bit of everything. Uh, but I do want to talk about this because in their last dev blog, they did talk about expeditions, like I said, are some of the best ways to actually increase your high watermark gear score and increases in a more controlled environment. Uh, you know, expeditions are a great way to do it. And Garden of Genesis and Lazarus Instrumentality are full of elite monsters to fight. And the bosses guarantee that you'll see an increase every time they drop a gear item for you, which is absolutely crazy. If you guys didn't know that, I didn't really know that until this dev blog post. And there was really no way to know that. But they also mentioned we know that tuning orbs for those expeditions are particularly time consuming to craft right now. So we're in the process of adjusting expedition tuning orb crafting requirements. We expect to release an update to the crafting requirements for tuning orbs sometime in November after we have vetted the changes. So keep an eye on the updated notes. So basically what this means, guys, is you should not be actually, well, besides uh, the corrupted fragments and upgrading them, that's always going to probably be the same. Uh, but when it comes down to what it takes to actually craft the orbs themselves, which are the, you know, Starstone, Siren, Depths, Dynasty, Genesis, Lazarus orbs, that's going to all probably be less of a time crunch or I guess more less time consuming or less, uh, less basically resources needed to actually craft these tuning orbs. So that's one thing I wanted to kind of mention today, a little PSA to not actually craft these quite yet. If you have all the resources, that's great. Continue to collect all these resources, continue to craft all the components but just wait on actually crafting the orb because later in November we are going to expect to see Lazarus as well as Genesis as well as maybe even things like the Protector Tuning Orb or Siren Tuning Orb to decrease in the materials needed to actually craft them. I would suggest most likely to continue collecting these as it's going to be one of the best ways to actually increase your high watermark gear score. So thanks again guys for tuning in. Just want to make a quick video today kind of giving you guys a PSA over what's going on with the tuning orbs and uh, why I specifically am just hanging on to resources with actually out crafting the tuning orbs themselves. As a level 200 stone cutter for a while now, uh, you know, collecting these is definitely something that I will continue to do. Uh, so thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on if you guys have not already. Also, you can follow me down on twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye. I'll see you guys all in the next one.